Hi guys. Um, we're, we're about to embark on a really, really cool unit. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, this is, this is the beginnings of coral reefs. And one of the things I want you to do is I want you to understand that there's, there, sometimes you just have to appreciate things because they're really cool or very beautiful. Um, but, but coral reefs have such a diversity of life and they are, just so full of interesting critters that, that I want you to kind of be able to appreciate some of the things that we see down there. Okay, so Bonaire is about 60 miles north of Venezuela, so it's just north of South America. It's in the Caribbean, and we're going to use Bonaire as a stereotypical coral reef. There, it, It's called a fringing reef, and we'll get to that when we get into the coral reef notes and things, but a fringing reef is is um, a reef where the the coral is growing kind of close to the island. Um, there's really no lagoon, so you get in the water and, and away you go. So let's talk a little bit about Bonaire for just a second. Bonaire is is part of the Netherland Antilles. It it is pristine. It is one of those places that you can go and scuba dive. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, anytime you want to go. Um, we dove at one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. So anytime you want to go diving, you, you could just get a tank and go or a couple of tanks and go. Um, if you notice down the bottom, it says Divers Paradise. This is a license plate. I took a picture of our truck license plate. Um, back in 2006, I went and then um, I went again in 2009. And then last year I went with Mr. Turcotte and some other friends of mine down to uh, Bonaire again. And we did pretty much the same thing, but you'll see some pictures from kind of all over the, the Bonaire spectrum that I took pictures of. Um, a, a few year, well, a number of years ago, um, a gentleman by the name of Captain Don, he was, he was a character. He went down to Bonaire and he made Bonaire a, 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 a marine protected park which means you can't take anything from there and you can't leave anything there. And they actually give you a tag that shows that you're able to scuba dive down there. And um, you pay for this tag. They give you this, this tag after you take a course about how to take care of the, of the reef. And then you could dive. If you, if you get caught diving without this tag, without this training, they will will find you and they will send you home it's it's pretty they're pretty serious so the reason for all that is because that way they keep the environment really really well um um pristine not un almost untouched by humans even though there's a ton of divers that dive there all the time okay so um again sometimes you just have to appreciate things because they're really cool or really beautiful this is a brittle star on a sponge with some coral. I just thought it was a really nice picture. Um, I, I, it's just really cool stuff. This is probably um, two inches in diameter. It's not that big. Okay. I found this octopus um, and, and I took its picture and within seconds it turned this color. I actually won um, a photo contest with this with this photograph. This is Octopus vulgaris. Pretty common, um, but but very hard to spot because they're masters of camouflage. Let me show you a little video I took this past in in July of 2019. Um, let's see if I can make this work. Yep, here we go. And so I found this guy it was probably one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. And he is just so cool. He was he was that bluish green. He was just spectacular. He um he wasn't real happy that we were that we were videoing him and taking pictures, but he was just really cool. Um very very intelligent creatures. This is a um a lettuce leaf slug. It's a it's a snail without a shell, but um they have a symbiotic relationship with some algae that grow in them so they help them to, to make their own food very cool critters um, okay this is one of the one of the really common fish down there this is a this is a princess parrot fish 
Um, and you'll notice that this princess parrotfish has a beak. The beak allows the parrotfish to crunch the coral up. And then it, so what it does is it takes a bite off the coral, chews it all up, and then digests the, the coral animal. And then the rest is sand. So all those beautiful white sandy beaches that you walk along when you go down to the Caribbean, whether it's Puerto Rico or, or Jamaica or Bonaire, um, any, of the, any of those beautiful white sandy beaches anywhere are really made up of parrotfish poop. I have a neat little video to show you. Let me see if I can get going. Oh, oh, hold on. I have a neat little video to show you. This is a parrotfish. And, oh, come on. Oh, here we go. This is a parrotfish, and he's being shadowed by a trumpet fish. But I want you to see. So watch how he uses his beak to crunch up some coral. And then when he swims away, he's going to poop, and I'll show you the sand. So it's really short. But... There's the sand from the sandy beach. That's... That's, what's, that's what all the sand is made up of. Parrotfish and other creatures who chew up the coral and then they digest it. And what's left over is the, is the sand. So it's clean. It's not like it's you know disgusting or anything. It's just kind of cool. This is a Spanish hogfish. I want you to see the diversity of some of the things here and some of the weird things. This is a fairly normal looking fish. But um, this is a Spanish hogfish. This is a doctor fish, and one of the cool things about a surgeon fish or a doctor fish is there's there's a bone right there that they can use to protect themselves with. Um, they they can swipe at predators and and give them a nasty cut. It's they're pretty cool, but they're kind of an interesting fish. They do school, so here's a bunch of them. They come in a variety of colors and. And, and things. They're just kind of a neat fish. Okay. Here's here's schooling. Oop, there's a there's schooling ones. I don't know if I have this video. Let's see. Oh, this is just schooling. We'll get to we'll get to this a little bit later. But notice how all these fish are swimming together. They're not banging into each other. It's it's pretty cool. So when we get on to fish we'll we'll talk more about this. But kind of a cool thing. Okay. Um, this is a, this is a, a blue tang. It's a kind of doctor fish or surgeon fish. There's a trumpet fish. Again, look at the, look at the, um, diversity. This, this fish is really, really cool. This mouth opens up really wide. So when it does, you see this mouth, it opens like that. And that's why they call it a trumpet fish. Okay. Oh, just so you know, this line goes oh, this that line goes down to about 135, 140 feet um, deep, which is pretty deep. This is the the top of the reef. This is the reef crest, and then it just follows the reef. And that's for people when you first get there to kind of follow your way and kind of check yourself out. They have you check check out um, to make sure you're a safe diver and, and good diver. You're not going to destroy the reef or anything. Kind of cool. Okay. This is a bristle worm. They have little tiny bristles on the side here. If you touch them, it's kind of like fiberglass getting into your skin and it's really painful. Feels like a burn. This is a, um, a, a um, yeah. This is, this fish was probably, um, six feet, seven feet long and they buzz you at night. They're, this is a tarpon and, and they're just, Really big, really scary, but they don't really bother you. Here's here's what it looked like from underneath as, as in twilight. Um, this is a spotted moray. They're pretty common down there. This little guy here is a banded coral shrimp. Okay. Th these guys were cool, but this is what I want you to see. You saw this in one of the other, other videos. This stuff here is fire coral. This is a little damselfish, and they're very, very territorial. 
Um, I, I had a friend of mine was dive oop, had a friend of mine that was diving with us and the damselfish found him and wasn't real happy with him. Now this guy is probably six foot four, six foot five. He's a you know tall guy, and this little damselfish thought, oh no no, you're in my territory. So he came out and warned him and said, get away from my 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 territory. So of course I went over and started videotaping, and he he was the the fish was not happy. And he came out and he warned me, you'll see him kind of flare his fins and tell me, away from me, get away from me. And what, you'll see him come out in a second. So he comes out and he gives me the warning and he says, get away, get away. He came right up to my, my um, camera. He attacked the camera. You'll, you'll see him, um, you'll see him actually go at, at the camera which I thought was pretty cool. So this little fish is defending his territory. It doesn't matter how big you are. Look at him attacking the camera. I think that's so funny. Okay. So you get the idea. But that's a damselfish. Um this is a this is a a, a juvenile uh, yellow-tailed damselfish, which is the fish you just saw, but it's a juvenile and and when they're little they they look like this. They're kind of tiny. That's probably the size of your pinky fingernail. And I thought when I took this that it was all out of focus. But if you look, see the fins are all in focus. So this guy is really in focus. He really looks like that, kind of fuzzy. I thought it was kind of cool. These are Christmas tree worms. So so what you have here is is this and this are all part of the same worm. He's buried in this coral head and these are reproductive and and respiratory uh, not reproductive feeding and respiratory structures they get their their oxygen through these and um and they filter feed so they they catch plankton in these in these feathery um gills and then and then they kind of pull them down into the mouth which is kind of in between these and they come in different colors. There's orange ones and white ones and brown ones, and they're they're all different. I just think they're really really pretty. Um, this is another worm that's related to it. This is a um, a feather duster they call it. And then look at this little crab. This crab is called a spider crab or an arrow crab. He's kind of tiny, but he was pretty skinny and pretty cool. Um, okay, here's a close up of the of the little the little spider crab or or arrow crab. Um, this is coral. One of the things that we're going to talk about is live coral. It's an animal um, and you can see in here maybe you can see in here right there you can see the tentacles. This coral what what happens is during the day corals kind of re retract into themselves and you don't really see the polyps at night they'll come out. I'll show you some some coral polyps in a second, but but very beautiful creatures. This is a whole colony, and when you see the 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 big pieces of coral, they're all one colony. This is dead. Um, it was completely white. Um, it, this greenish color is actually because algae was kind of growing on the top of it, but this this is dead coral. Okay, we'll show you. I'll show you some live coral in a minute. This is goatfish, but this is kind of like my do your own thing photo. If you look at this guy over here, he's um, he's not facing the same way everybody else is. He's just doing his own thing. But those are goatfish. There's a, a a picture of them schooling. I think they're kind of pretty. This most of you know what this is. I think this is a great barracuda. When um, when I started diving down in the tropics, um, I was kind of terrified of these guys. They were pretty uh, aggressive for against other fish. I saw them tear apart a couple of fish and I was like, oh my god. And they were just little ones that were tearing some of these tiny fish apart. <clears throat> and I thought, wow, I'm going to be diving with these things? That's kind of that's kind of dangerous. But they were they were pretty pretty docile. Kind of like puppy dogs. They follow you around. They do have big teeth. I got close. Yep. So pretty cool. This is a Bermuda chub. I just thought it was the funniest looking thing. 
it's, it was this good sized fish with these funny looking lips. Um, but yeah, that's a Bermuda chub. This is a Harlequin bass. It's probably the length of your, half the length of your pinky finger. It's a tiny little fish, but kind of pretty. This is a Sergeant Major. The Sergeant Major is named that because it has the same number of stripes as a Sergeant Major in the Army. Kind of cool. Um, and behind it, this, this, oh, 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 sorry. This thing right here is called a sea fan. It's a kind of anthozoan. We talked about uh, Nidaria. This is an anthozoan. It's a sea fan, or it's in an order Gorgonacea. It's a Gorgon um, type of critter. Okay. Um, corals. This is plate coral. Um, it's fairly common. They come in different forms. Um, so we'll we'll I'll sh we'll be talking about those when we get to the coral reef notes. Uh, these guys are French angels. I think they're beautiful. And you know when you go down there and you've never dove down there, you think oh pretty tropical fish. You know they'll be this big. No, those guys were probably this big. I don't know if you can see that, but they were pretty big. Um, very pretty fish. This is brain coral. Let me show you. How's that? Doesn't that look like a brain? Um, brain coral, that brain coral was probably, you know, this big. Some of them get, I've seen brain coral the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. So I've seen some big ones. This was a small one. This is a, a burr fish, and his eyes really do have those green sparkles in them. I just think they're really cool. And no, I didn't make him puff up. Yes, he can puff up. But if you make a fish puff up, it means you've you've harassed them, and you don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to stress the fish. But he's really cool. This is orange cup coral. We saw some pictures of orange cup coral in one of the other videos that we've we've seen. So, but very cool, very pretty. This is a trunk fish. Um, kind of cool. He does not blow up. Just some different fish. This is a spotted moray. This is one of the biggest morays I've seen. He was probably this big around. He was he was big. He was he was pretty long. He was probably seven foot long. He was he was pretty big. Interesting. Uh, Pearls of wisdom from Fusco. Haven't heard that one in a while. Pearls of wisdom from Fusco. Green morays are not really green. Green morays are blue. I know you're thinking he looks green to me, but but he is blue and he has a yellow mucus. So the yellow mucus is kind of see-through. The yellow mucus on a blue um, eel looks green. So yeah, um, I just thought that was really cool. He was he was actually just breathing, but but he was. You can see him. You can see the teeth. They actually have two sets of jaws. Mores, very cool fish. Um, this is a golden tail moray. I just thought it was kind of pretty. This is a sharp tailed eel. These guys are guard meals. They're about a hundred, they're in about a hundred feet of water. Hundred, well, this one was taken on 130 feet of water, which is the deepest I've been. Um, they, they're so cool. They're these little eels that live in the sand. And if you go near them, they just whoop, pop right down. And when you, when you see them, they look like, they look like algae, and then and then when you get next to them, they just boom, they just disappear. Very cool. This is a, a a four spot butterfly fish. This is a little trunk fish. He's so cute. Doesn't that look like a little muppet? It's another it's another kind of trunk fish. This is a um, fairy basslet. And there's a peppermint goby right here. See the other fish right there? They are tiny. That peppermint goby was probably half the size of your fingernail, your pinky fingernail. These are lizard fish. They're, they're, they're called sand divers. And they kind of sit like that. And we saw one that saw a, a prey up at the surface. 
he was in probably 30, 35 feet of water. He swam up, grabbed it, came back down and ate it in front of us. It was pretty amazing. There he is, a little closer. Aren't they pretty? Looking at him face to face. That's a little peppermint goby. Isn't he cute? This is this is named what it looks like. <laughs> this is this is a donkey dung sea cucumber. He's um he was pretty big. He was probably, I don't know, eighteen inches. Maybe a little bigger than that. Um it looked just like donkey dung. It was pretty amazing. This is a barred hamlet. Isn't that pretty? He was probably this big. This is a tiger grouper. See the teeth on them? They they can they can do some damage if they bite you, but the fish down there don't really bite for the most part. I mean, you'd have to kind of really get up in their face. One of the few crabs that I saw down there. That's that green moray. He was big. He was big. Um, these are vase sponges. We talked about periphera. These are these are vase sponges that uh, I'm sorry. These are organ pipe sponges. They were probably seven or eight feet tall. They were big, and and this guy here, uh, let's see, this guy here is what they call a bluehead. It's a kind of wrasse. I just thought he was kind of pretty, but it's really the the sponges that I wanted you to see. Um. Can you see the fish in here? Let let me see if I can if I can help you. So here's his eye, and I'll take these off in a minute. Here's his mouth. Here's his gill. Here's his side fin. They call it the pectoral fin, right? This is this is a really well camouflaged fish. It's called a scorpion fish, and they are venomous. So if you step on this bad boy, or if you get poked by him, he'll inject a, a poison a toxin that's pretty nasty um yeah but he's and, and they're pretty well camouflaged so it's really easy to to not see them but he was probably i don't know maybe this big so he was good sized fish isn't that beautiful that's a um an, a queen angel fish i just think they're beautiful the colors on him are just on her are spectacular. This fish is a frog fish. The, many, many people look for these guys and never see them throughout their whole diving career. I was lucky I found a few of these guys in my career. This is one of them. Um, and the interesting thing about frog fish, I'll show you another picture in a second. Um, this is a flying fish. Frog fish are our um anglers the the really cool thing is if you look right here and then all the way up there's this little this little um fishing rod and at the end is this little flappy thing okay that's the lure and so these guys will actually take that and flip it forward and when something comes to eat this, they oop, they will suck it into this big mouth here and, and eat it up. Now, another cool thing is these are not his eyes. Here's one eye and here's the other eye. Not these. How cool is that? So these are false eye spots. This guy was not is not very big, but he's um he's pretty pretty impressive. They don't really swim, they waddle, so they kind of stay in one place for the most part, but but he's so ugly, he's cute. I think that's really cool fish. Um I know you're thinking Fusco's weird, but that's okay. All right. Um isn't that pretty? Just some other things that I wanted you to see. This is another. This is a big parrotfish. He was probably three feet long. Um, when I was down there, I one of the things I asked about was I found these. These. Let me see if I can do this in yellow. 
I found these things. They looked like little silver, greenish silver balls. And I felt one and they were kind of rubbery. And I was like, what the heck is that? Well, it turns out they're called sea pearls and they're a type of algae. One of the few macro algaes that grow down in the tropics. Very cool. We'll get to those a little bit later. There's a good sized brain coral. Sea fans. Isn't that pretty? This is this is a sea anemone. Um and there's a couple of Okay. Um I, I want you to see this too. One of the cool things down there were we saw quite a few turtles. I mean and they are just really spectacular. They're beautiful. And they swim incredibly well. <clears throat> On land they're pretty um pretty goofy looking, but when they get in the water, they just are amazing. And when he was tired of us, he just bolted and there was no way to catch up with him. In this video, I'm swimming pretty hard to keep up with him. But when and he doesn't mind. But when he got tired of me, he just blew away. I mean, he just like, go on. Isn't that cool? Okay, I don't want to take up too much time. Okay, um, this is a tiger tail sea cucumber. This is one of the lobsters down there. This is a, a spiny lobster, Panularis. This is an interesting kind of coral. This is staghorn coral. We'll get back to that coming up. Found seahorses down there. Isn't that pretty? That's a purple tipped anemone. And it was that color. I think they're just so cool. This is a peacock flounder. And that's. Oh, here we go. This is. This is one of the fish that's down there. Pretty common, unfortunately, but it's also invasive. This is a lionfish or a zebra fish. And one of the things that they do is because they're they're invasive they actually have tournaments to try and get rid of them the thing about this fish is it's venomous these spines these spines are all at the base of the spine is a is a poison gland oh sorry sorry at the base of the spine is a poison gland and they have a v groove in the bone that makes up these spines and these spines um spines and so if you get poked by this guy it's really really painful they it's it's pretty pretty impressive nobody's died by these guys but i think people want to um i've seen some some um results of when somebody gets stung by these guys they've actually had to amputate fingers and 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 hands and things because of them um, so you don't want to re you really don't want to play with the spines but they've actually organized tournaments where they catch these guys and and they 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 eat them and they're really really tasty it's a really non fishy white fish um, I've had it both as sushi and as as a cooked fish delicious delicious but they eat all the ju many many juveniles down there so they're not a they're not a really good fish to have that's another four spot butterfly isn't that cute that's called a big eye this is a, a kind of snail called a flamingo tongue it's it's um it's a, probably the size of your thumbnail but that you're looking at this i'm going to call it the skin of the the shell the snail the shell it's covered by the the shell is covered by this, they call it the mantle. Okay. Very, very cool. Um, these are red lipped gobies. Aren't they cute? Another fairy basslet. This is one of the uh, sea urchins down there. This is diadema. They are pretty nasty if you get stung by them. This is a schoolmaster snapper. That was kind of cool. Rock beauty. Squirrel fish. And we were lucky enough to see these bottlenose dolphin 
in the water um, when we went down there. Um, bottlenose dolphin are um, common, but but you don't really see them very often because they, they kind of stay away. But we got to see them. It was so cool. So, and that's, oh, and that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, please fill out the notes, or ple please fill out the questionnaire, and we'll talk soon. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.